My name is Scott Bryce and uh, my company's name is A Stuntman and I, and I want to do a demonstration today on how to measure the width or the diameter of the stump at ground level and uh, that's how we do our pricing and basically I just take a tape measure and I'll, beside the stump I'll measure at ground level at grade and measure from where the stump comes out of the ground at the right on the grass here over to the other side right here is where the uh, you can see the wood coming out of the ground on the stump so on this particular uh, stump we have probably about 31 inch diameter and we can also measure it uh, a narrow width and it's probably about 26 uh, diameter inches so an average width would be about 28 inches now this stump is standing uh, taller than most when we grind. We usually grind, they're cut off within uh, 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches of the ground. Anything taller than that can uh, possibly be an extra charge. This one is still standing uh, about 26 inches above the ground, so we'd like to have it down uh, about this level before we start to grind. And then we grind about 8 to 10 inches below grade and a little bit wider than the stump to uh, get some of that wood out of the ground. This is a locust tree here and you can kind of see how it's humped up in the yard over on this side. The grass is humped up here but basically what I do is just take a tape measure and I measure from where the uh, wood comes out of the ground right about here over to this side and on this particular tree it comes clear over to here so I take a tape measure set it on the ground basically at ground ground level and I can measure this stump and it, it figures out about almost 50 inches on this angle. I can also make another measurement on this side because it's a little narrower and it measures about uh, 30 inches. Uh, so the average width or diameter of this stump is about 40 inches and pricing is based on, a, on the diameter so many dollars per inch. Now keep in mind on a, on a locust tree, apple trees, cra uh, crab apple trees, it does tend to hump up the grass here and uh, you may want to extend the width and grind out this whole area to get, get it back to grade, especially if you're going to be planting grass back in this particular area. Now on this tree, this is an ash tree, um, and you can see as we get down closer to the ground this is flaring out, which is quite normal for like that locust and the ash and the, uh, the fruit trees. So again, I just take a tape measure at ground level and measure from over here, right there, where it comes out of the ground over to here. And uh, you have about 32 inches. And there's really no surface roots. It's, it's not humped up very much. So the, uh, the accurate measurement would be about 32 inches. Measuring it from this uh, side, it's still about the same uh, on this one. Now on this stump here, it's it's a it's got two leaders that came off of the stump originally or off the tree originally. So again, you know, we're not trying to measure across the top of the stump. We always want to try to measure at ground level, which would be setting your tape beside the stump. And the narrow width on this one would be about 22 inches diameter or width, however you want to call that, and then the long width would be uh, about 33 inches. So 22 inches on the narrow, 33 inches. So it's about, uh, say, 26 inch average uh, uh, diameter on this one. And, uh, and again, there's no pump in the ground there so that would be the accurate measurement on this one 26 inches. This is a cottonwood tree here and generally the hybrid cottonwoods or cottonless cottonwoods have visible roots that come off of the uh, stump and they're all different they can have four or five or a couple of different uh, roots so the pricing on this is not only the diameter of the of the stump but also how many surface roots there are on the tree and how, how far they extend out. And it's just hard to tell without looking at them, uh, you know, how much extra it would be to grind those roots, uh, those visible roots out. But 
just looking at the stump, uh, or what after the tree would be cut down, the stump would be at ground level again, probably about on this side anyway. It's it's looking close to about 58 inch diameter this way, and then over here, this would be the longer width. It's about where the flare comes out of the ground over to this side, probably about 60 inches. So on that one, it's just looking at how the, the uh, tree is growing, it's probably about a 60 inch diameter. But then, there's a good amount of grinding on just the visible surface roots too. The pines are a little easier to measure, they generally don't have any uh, surface roots that extend away from the stump, so let me climb in there and we'll get a measurement again right at dirt level. So this one basically would be about, uh, looking like about 20, 21 inches diameter on that one. Now the spruce trees, the blue spruces, once you get the needles cleared back, they generally do have surface roots that extend away from the, the stump. Uh, quite like the cottonwoods do, so that that would be a, an extra charge to grind those out also. This is a silver maple tree here, and the root mass on this kind of a tree can be quite extensive because they seem to just uh, flow out from the tree. So to measure a stump like this, you've got root clear over from there, extending clear over in this area here, and many times it can be like solid wood. So you just, uh, again, it right at grass level. I'm, I measure clear over where I see visible wood come out of the ground, clear over to this area where the roots are going in the ground. Look at about 86 inch diameter on this one from this from this side over here on this side. It's measuring probably about 83 inches. So probably 84, 83, 84 inches would be the average diameter in trying to figure out what the width of this stump would be once the tree is cut down. Thanks for taking a look at this video demonstration. I hope it's been helpful to give you an idea how to uh, measure the diameter of these stumps. Uh, I've got more information on my website www.astumpman.com or, or always feel free to give me a call. Again my name is Scott. Give me a call at 303-981-7979 be happy to answer any more questions you have and uh, we always have free estimates we come out and uh, get you an exact quote and it's uh, it's always a free estimate